Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we did the video for Windows 10 for accessibility for uh, high contrast modes and the different colors you can change in Windows 10 for people that have uh, all sorts of uh, viewing uh, disabilities. It could be color blindness, it could be simply a difficulty in um, you know, making clear text visible for some people with some uh, problems, with some eye problems. And um, basically, you can customize a lot of that in Windows, hopefully to help you use a PC. So in Windows 11, we did a video in Windows 10. It's slightly different than you're going to see. Right click on the start button, go into settings, in the settings. You will go into ease of access. That's the first thing that's changed. In Windows 11, it's called accessibility. Funny thing is, accessibility was the name they gave it to Windows 10 also for a certain time before they rolled back to ease of access. Now, on the left side, you will have high contrast. And here is where you have all the possibilities. So for example, turn on high contrast. And you can create, of course, your own themes or you can choose what's there so you can see what's available is that what you like is that what you think would be useful if it is you're already set up with what they are offering as the different colors if not then you can customize it to your own so you can choose one then go down in the box and customize the colors that you want to change for example the text I would like to have white and I'll click done and um, I might want to change the hyperlinks to something that is more visible like um, maybe a light colored and of course the, the depending on what you want to have for example here I contrast the selected text maybe I want to have the highlight um, red or orange or whatever color that is brown it looks brown and so on you can choose of course change a background here the background you'll have the slider here to change the background a little bit and then you can of course go on the screen once you have chosen the background go on the screen and choose which color would be the one you want to have as a background once it's done and once the slider is at the desired color you click done and you'll see that it gives you, it gives you an idea within this box already of what your theme will look like. Once all of the options are set the way you want them, you click apply. It's going to ask you for a name. So you can name it, for example, my theme or name it a theme that you want to have uh, personally. So um, you'll choose whatever options in there. And sorry, my theme, click save. And now you have an option called my theme. If you look at the uh, options at the top, you had high contrast one, two, you had black, you had white. Now you have your own theme. You can create as many themes as you want, all with different colors, different options. And you see what they look like once they are uh, in Windows. So for example, if I go into any menus, you see that you know, there's these white highlight around the boxes. There's the colors are different. Just choose what you want. And of course, you can delete a theme that you don't like. And you can revert back to any other theme that are still there. And of course, want to turn off the uh, high contrast mode? Well, simply turn it off with the little switch. And Windows will be back to its default colors that you had before you actually changed anything. All of these modes are still available, so when you turn them back on, your, your saved theme is still there. Everything's still uh, working. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.